Hello, I'm going to pick up from where I left out, and that was actually in this table, uh, where we see the results of the interaction analysis, but we don't see the, the pairwise comparisons, unlike the pairwise comparisons for gender, which is right here, pairwise comparisons, and pairwise comparisons for uh, stream here. So we're going to get some pairwise comparisons. How do we do that? Well, we're going to go to Analyze, uh, General Linear Model, and Univariate. It's important to choose uh, estimated marginal means. Uh, so I'm going to choose everything and populate the right-hand side, Display Means 4, and Compare Main Effects. We're going to compare main effects, main effects being stream and, and the levels of stream and gender, as well as stream times gender. But Stream times gender is not a main effect, as you remember. Uh, it's an interaction effect. So we're going to have to use syntax in SPSS. I'm going to click Bonferroni correction, continue. I think everything else is in order. I'm going to click paste, because we need to, to work with syntax. And here is a part where we need to pay more attention to. Um, as you see, for the main effects stream and gender, we have separate lines. And now what we need to do is also to, to also add compare ADJ Bonferroni correction and add gender here. Or you could add stream. doesn't really matter. It will give you similar information. So I'm going to run this analysis now. I'm going to highlight everything and click this button which is run selection I, I will also provide this small part this small part of uh, syntax which you will need uh, in the uh, descriptions of the video below uh, so let's just highlight everything and click and before doing that I'm gonna close this and not save it so we will get uh, re new results that will be easier to read. So we'll get new results. I'm going to go all the way up. This is the syntax that SPSS executed. Previously, this this part of the syntax was not available. Compare, gender, etc. But now we added it. The rest of the syntax is exactly the same as the syntax here in SPSS. So all, as you can always change the syntax from here and get some interesting results. So we have already gone through these uh, pieces of information. I'm not going to go through them again. Uh, as mentioned before, there are quite a few tables which provide you with very similar or the same pieces of information. But to reiterate uh, what I have already mentioned, what we need to pay more attention to is is uh, tests of between subject effects. I, I think I just need to highlight it again. Between subject effects, Levine's test of uh, homogeneity was violated here. Uh, look at please, uh, look at my explanations, please, in the previous video. And finally, the post hoc analysis. So here we have uh, some contrast results. You know, I have gone through these. We don't need to go through these. But what is now useful here is this pairwise comparison. This was missing. We we only had this comparison in the previous. Uh, video that I showed you because we didn't have that uh, short syntax line. Now we have we have more than that and that's pairwise comparison. It's valuable because it tells us that males and females uh, in normal technical have a significant difference. And the same can be that's the, because that's p-value. Let me just draw some lines here just to annotate this table for you. So males and females have a significant difference as indicated by the significant significance value in the normal technical stream. Now how about another stream? Do we, do we get to see the same kind of significance level when you are comparing males and females in normal, tech, in normal academic stream? Yes. We get to see the same kind of uh, significance level. In other words, we can still see that the, the, the differences between males and females hold, 
across normal academic. And in the same way, Express um, also, uh, I, mean, I mean, male and female in, in the Express stream also have the same kind of significance level as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000 and much smaller than that. What does it mean? It means that the differences that we see between males and females remain the same across or, or sig remain significant if not exactly the same, that remain significant across normal technical, normal academic, and normal express. So, in other words, uh, so it's this is this is the line that I the, the graph that I uh, actually designed previously. So, if you have males and females, males, females, this is male, this is females, this is males. Uh, this is the grand mean. Now for Normal technical, I'm going to use the same color. Uh, for normal technical, if you remember from the previous video, the, the mean score of normal technical fell below the mean score of the, the grand mean. So for males versus females, we see the same pattern. There is no interaction. Now for these two groups as well, uh, perhaps I should have used a different color for express, but that doesn't matter. For normal academic, we also, we still see that the, the mean score, if I'm not wrong, still falls under uh, the, the grand mean. But for the other group, uh, the S-Express, it falls above. The mean scores fall above the grand mean. But you, you see, there is no interaction. And in, an interaction here would be, uh, for example, to convert to converging lines one like this and the other one like this two converging lines or two intersecting lines like one and two or in different ways like one and two they, they intersect at this point and at this point this would indicate that there is a potential interaction between uh, the variables or it could be diverging one, where one one line is moving upwards and another line is moving perhaps downwards or horizontally like that or like this. These all indicate uh, indicate uh, interactions between the variables which we do not see here and it's obvious from the significance value. In other words, uh, I think it's, it's also easier to put it this way. Look at these significant significance values. If you see that the differences are not consistently significant or are not consistently non-significant that indicates that there is an interaction between the two or the three independent variables regardless of how many independent variables you have uh, in other words uh, whereas uh, the differences uh, hold uh, at one or two levels or at several levels, at one or two or more levels, the differences do not hold. So it's very important to see a kind of consistency in this uh, significance values in the table that you generated here, in the table that you generated using the syntax. I'm going to repeat that, and if you would like to, you know, to think about it a bit more, you can just pause the video and uh, or rewind it and listen to it again. If you see significance, uh, a consistently significant or non-significant values here in the pairwise comparisons of the interaction effects, uh, then you have no interaction. But if the interaction, the significance values are inconsistent, meaning that for some it's significant and for others it's not significant, then you most likely, or almost always I should say, you have a significant interaction there. And an easier way to judge whether there is a significant interaction is always this test of between subjects effects uh, uh, table where you can, I'm going to highlight this again once more, um, I like this stream. Oh gosh, um, sorry about that. Okay, stream and gender uh, here, as, as you can see from the significance value, 
it's much greater than 0 0.05 which indicates that there is no uh, interaction uh, of course we already knew this the reason why I use syntax was really to demonstrate how this interaction analysis can be uh, can be performed uh, I'll try to figure out if uh, I can I can find a data set where there is a significant interaction between the two independent variables uh, then I'll in in a separate video I'll present uh, uh, more information about about the uh, you know significant interactions uh, just um, just to help you understand what I mean by that but currently uh, let's just remember that uh, by adding this syntax line uh, we can estimate uh, the uh, the interactions between the different levels here and here actually and really decide whether there is an interaction or not based on that I think the rest of the, the tables remain more or less the same and here are uh, the profile plots where you can see f males and females here uh, and here you can see female uh, males and females but on the horizontal axis um, I hope you find this video useful uh, especially for interaction analysis through syntax in SPSS um, this brings me to the end of this video in the following parts and videos I will try to wrap up everything that I've discussed about ANOVA and especially focus on uh, what is important to, to include in our papers or perhaps dissertations and theses. Uh, thank you again and if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and have a good day.